Welcome to Music Theory Basics. Today, we will be looking at how to work out your major, minor, and perfect intervals. But firstly, let's recap what we learned last time. Last time, we looked at how to work out the distance between two notes. So what two notes do we have here? That's right, we have a G natural followed by a C natural. So what is the distance between these two notes? Let's write out the beginning of the G major scale and C. As you can see, C natural is the fourth note of G major, making the interval between these two notes, G and C, the interval of a fourth. Once you are confident with knowing the distance between the notes, it is important to learn how we describe this. Today, we will look at three descriptions, the major interval, the minor interval, and the perfect interval. So what different types of major interval do we have? Here's our C major scale. Let's put the degrees on the bottom. And as you can see, we have highlighted C and D. This is the interval of a second. To be precise, this is a major second. This is because D natural is in the scale of C major. Now we have highlighted E. The distance between C and E is a third. And because E natural is in C major, this is a major third. Now we have highlighted A. A is the sixth note of C major, making this a major sixth. And lastly, we have highlighted the B. B is the seventh note of C major, making this a major seventh. But what about the fourth, fifth and octave notes? These are what we call perfect intervals. So C to F is what we call a perfect fourth. The distance between C and F is four. This is where we get the fourth from. And because it is a fourth, it is perfect. The next interval here is a perfect fifth. G is the fifth note of C major. And because it's a fifth, it is perfect. And lastly, here we have a perfect octave. But what are minor intervals? Let's look at this major third. This is a major third because E natural is in C major. If we lower the E natural though, by a semitone, to E flat, this now becomes a minor third. A minor third interval is one semitone smaller than a major interval. Let's try another example. Here we have C to A. This is a major sixth because A natural is in C major. But if we bring the A down a semitone to A flat, we have now turned this interval into a minor sixth. So 
So here we have the different examples. In the top left, we have C to D natural. This would be a major second because D natural is in C major. If we bring that D down a semitone to D flat, it now becomes a minor second. Moving across the top line, we see C to E. This is a major third because E natural is in C major. And if we bring that E natural down a semitone to E flat, it now becomes a minor third. Looking to the bottom left, we have a C natural to an A natural. This is a major sixth because A natural is in C major. If we bring that A natural down a semitone to A flat, we have now turned this into a minor sixth. And last one, C to B natural is a major seventh because B natural is in C major. If we bring that B natural down a semitone to B flat, we now have a minor seventh. So if you lower a major interval by a semitone, you get a minor interval. However, this does not work with perfect intervals. Perfect intervals only have one normal state, and this is perfect. So if you see an interval of a fourth, fifth, or octave, this will be perfect. Let's try some examples. What two notes do you have here? That's right, you have an E flat and a C natural. So, is C natural in E flat major? Let's write out the scale and see. C natural absolutely is in E flat major, making this a major sixth. Let's try another example. What two notes do you have here? That's correct, you have an A natural and a C natural. So is C natural in A major? Let's write out the scale and C. C natural is not in A major. In A major, you actually have a C sharp. So the interval between A and C sharp is a major third. However, our C natural is one semitone smaller than C sharp, making the interval of A to C natural a minor third. What about this interval? We have a D natural and a G natural. Is G natural in D major? Let's write out the scale and see. G natural is in D major. And because the interval is a fourth, this is a perfect fourth. Let's have a look at this table. On the left hand side, you can see that the intervals of a second, third, sixth, and seventh are major or minor. And on the right, the intervals of a fourth, fifth, or octave are perfect. Before you go, make sure to click in the link in the bio to download your handy cheat sheet. This will help you get to grips with your intervals of major, minor, and perfect. I do hope that has helped your understanding. And I look forward to seeing you next time at Music Theory Basics.